Hello everyone. In our second video, we are going to see the difference between normally open contact and normally close contact. Now let's head over to the open PLC editor. Now, first I will create a new project. I will also create a new folder and I will name the folder as LD1 and now I will select the folder. After that, I will name the program as PRG first and I will add the language as LD. Now let's move forward. First of all, we are going to talk about normally open contact. Normally open contact and I will type it as boolean next I will use coil first now I will start making a later diagram before that I have to create two power rails on the left side and also on the other side now I'll see if they are aligned or not they are not lined I will align them then I will add a contact which is normally open contact normal contact and I will enter OK then I will adjust block size I will connect the pins I will also add a coil normal coil of course for now when we are going to talk about coil we basically are going to talk about normal coil only so after that I will connect these two I will run the simulation. You might have already an idea how the normally open contact works. Still, I will show you the simulation here. Now this simulation is completed and I will click on the glasses after that as you can see the coil first is false when I force true to the normally open contact now this has become normally close contact when I force true to the normally open contact the normal open contact will become normally close contact so will the coil now if I force it to false, it again becomes normally open contact and the coil is false. Now I will stop the simulation and I will add a normally 
close contact and see contact and I will now create an another coil now I'll start adding them first of all I will add a normally close contact and after that I will add a coil now I'll join the pins together there you go now this is normally close contact now normally close contact here means negated the symbol of the normally close contact is this now this is a normally close contact let's see how this works Now the simulation is completed. I will start the debugging. Let me drag this to the up. Now I will first of all clear this area here. Now I will click on the coil first and second. Now as you can see the normally open contact the coil is false and in the normally closed contact the coil is true as you can see here now let me show you the normally open contact and the normally closed contact as you can see both of them are false the normally open contact is false and the coil first is false and when normally contact close contact sorry is false the coil is true now I will modify both of them to true as you can see now when the normally open contact is modified to true it will become a normally closed contact and the coil will go to true and when the normally closed contact is modified to true the coil will go false you can also see here that the coil first is true when normally open contact is true and coil second is false when normally contact is true. Now I will modify both of them to false again and now you can see that it is happening again as the normally close contact is in false mode the coil will go true and normally open contact is in false mode the coil will go false now you may get the idea here that they are exactly opposite and they are now I'll stop this simulation here and could also just use the same pin here for both of them now I'll start the simulation again it will work the same as before it doesn't matter which pin you take the connection from It works just fine as before. Now let me drag this up and I will clear the area here. Now I will use coil 2 first 
and then I will use contact to as you can see when the normally open contact is false the coil is false as before and when the normally contact is close contact is false the coil 2 is true you could also just use the same pin in the coil and I will start the simulation you will see that it does not matter Now, as you can see again, that normally open contact and coil, and normally close contact and coil. When normally open contact will become normally close contact, the coil first will go true, and when normally close contact will become normally open contact, the coil will go false. This concludes our second video. Thank you for watching.